Okay, we're going to get started here. Welcome to Pod Nuts Daily for August 1st, 2008. Just want to make a couple quick announcements here. Episode 22 of Pod Nuts, Pod Nuts Weekly, I guess I might be calling it, uh, will be out either tom- tomorrow morning or if I could swing it tonight. I'm just so swamped with work in the shop, which I'll talk about in a little bit, that uh, I don't have time to edit it tonight. If I do, I'll post it tonight. Um, Sax in the chat room was talking about um, YouTube. Now, I, I have a YouTube channel for myself. Just put some stupid things on that. But um, I'm going to have one for Podnuts. I'm trying to set one up for Podnuts because I'd like to post these um, video segments on YouTube. The problem is most of my shows go longer than the YouTube uh, regulated time. So I'm applying for a YouTube director's account. Uh, I don't know too much about how to get, like, how long it takes to get that or what I need to do. But as soon as I get that, I'm going to post all these on YouTube and then uh, hopefully get a little bit more visibility. And then you guys can watch them on your iPhone if you want, the video version. Uh, Super busy today. We are getting slammed. I don't know um, if this is going to keep up. I don't know exactly why it's happening. A lot of a lot of customers are coming in with the antivirus 2008, the XP antivirus 2008 bug. Um, but besides that, business is really picking up. So I hope it keeps up, and I might need to hire another person if it keeps up going this way. All right, computers. We've got a compact, um, newish laptop in with Vista, and the problem with this laptop is it would start up. And um, you would just see the Vista startup screen with the green bar scrolling across, and it would go like that for forever if you let it. Um, it wouldn't get past that Vista boot up screen. Now, the customer said he let it run for three days with that screen, and it didn't change. So there's definitely something wrong with the startup. Um, his, he, he said his wife had slammed the screen down in anger um, to close the laptop, and that's when the problem started happening. I don't know what they were fighting about, but it's, it must have been pretty bad to slam a nice laptop like that down. Um, so what I did was, first I wanted to back up his files off of the drive. Um, so we used, I, I tried to do it with Vista. I hooked up, took out his laptop hard drive and hooked it up to my machine. Tried to copy the files over in Vista. They wouldn't copy over. To get halfway through, and then the hard drive would start to grind. Well, anyway, my dad took over that job, and he, he used Nopix to um, – to, he hooked up his lap, the, the laptop out of the, the computer to his, his own laptop and used Nopix to copy the data from his, that, lap, that hard drive to his laptop. And it made it all the way through with Nopix, so we recovered his data. Now, the next thing we wanted to do was do a system recovery using the recovery partition on his original hard drive, his computer. Because if the recovery partition is intact, it doesn't necessarily mean the hard drive is damaged. It might still just be a couple bad sectors or something. If you do a, if you do a system recovery, everything might be fine. So we did that. We ran a system recovery on his hard drive. Since we had his data files backed up, we just wiped everything off his hard drive, brought it back to factory settings. Everything was fine. Everything worked fine. Everything looked fine. We copied all of his files back over to his drive. And then the computer started downloading Windows updates. And it rebooted itself after it downloaded a certain amount of updates. And after it rebooted itself, it would not come back on. Uh, the screen It would power up. It would post. Um, the Vista startup screen would start. No, we didn't even get that far. The screen would turn black. And then it would, it would either stay black or a couple times when we tried it, it would, wouldn't, the screen would be black with the cursor on it. You could see the cursor and move the cursor. One of those two screens. It would not get past that. We tried doing a Vista startup repair, which is now if you hit F8 during – if you have a Vista uh, installation and you hit F8 where you would normally go into safe mode for Windows XP, in Vista, if you hit F8, it gives you a chance to uh, – or an option to do Windows repair from, from that safe mode menu. And if you hit that, I think it will try to automatically fix any startup problems you're having. And also, it'll bring up a little menu of little repair items that you can do to fix the computer, like a uh, system restore you could run from this uh, menu. You could do a system factory recovery. You could do a startup repair. You could go to the command prompt, I think, and then you could run like a diagnostic test on all the hardware. Um, so that's where you did the system recovery the first time. Anyway, 
the second time after the inst- after it did those updates after it installed those updates it seemed like that's what caused this problem i'm not 100% sure we ran out of time today to really debug it but that's what i'm dealing with for i'm actually going to go in tomorrow and monday and uh fix that up so you know i'm open to suggestions if anybody knows any fixes for that we tried doing the system restore back to before the in- the updates installed um we tried to start up repair and i think that's about all we did Okay, I don't know if you guys ever heard of the service Buy the Zip. It's like a phone book type service, but it's online, and it also uses some offline um, methods as well. It's called Buy the Zip, basically like your zip code. You're going by the zip code to try to find things like contractors, anything you can find in the yellow pages basically is what this new service is. Anyway, we were being pitched this service by uh, a person who came in a couple weeks ago, and I, I would like to have any feedback. If anybody has used Buy the Zip for computer repair, for your computer repair service, I'd like to know if it gives you a nice return because the upfront cost for doing Buy the Zip is they give you a year, but it's like over $1,000 for a whole year. Um, and, you know, I, I am looking to do some more advertising for the shop. Just want to know if anybody's used Buy the Zip. But aside from that, we I said no. I want to think about it. He called me three more times. I said, no, no, no. Stop calling me, please. <laughs> so... Instead of calling me, he brought in his computer to me to fix it because he has a virus on it. He actually had the XP antivirus 2008. So he, his, his computer was in today. And um, to get rid of XP, and, and XP antivirus 2008, I've been lately downloading the latest version of Smith Fraud Fix, running that in safe mode, running CCleaner, and then I run Super Anti Spyware. And I make sure I get all the update, the latest updates for Super, super Anti Spyware. And I run it in the full as a full scan. I don't run the quick scan. Now, the reason I run CCleaner in between those those two programs is Super Anti Spyware will run. You know, it'll take half as much time to do a full scan if you run CCleaner before you do the scan of your hard drive. So that's why I do that step. You can't run uh, Super. An- you can't install Super Anti Spyware in safe mode. I'm not sure if you can run it in safe mode. I think you can, but you can't ins- can't install it in safe mode. So. You might have to go – the first step you might have to do in the, on the whole computer is boot into normal mode, install Super Anti Spyware, and then go back into safe mode. This computer also had a, a nasty piece of malware that Smith Fraud Fix and Super Anti Spyware did not take away. It was called Malware Destroyer or Malware something. I think it starts with a D. I can't remember the name of it. Um, we had to actually go in manually, delete all the files that had that – the name of the software in it, Malware Destroyer, let's just say. And then we went to the registry and deleted any registry entries that had that Malware Destroyer in it. And that's what stopped it from running and continuing. So that one we had to uninstall manually. Everything else, the other programs took care of. I did an on-site job today.